ThorChain's Avalanche integration is live, which means we can now swap between native AVAX and all the other supported assets on ThorChain. So in this first tutorial, I'm gonna walk you through how to use ThorSwap to swap both to and from AVAX with all the other supported native assets. Whenever you're using ThorSwap, you're using your own self-custody wallets, never any wrapped assets, never any centralized custodial intermediary steps. So first let's get some wallets connected so you can see what wallets you can use depending on what you need to do. Because we're doing true cross-chain swaps, that means you're going to be connecting wallets on both sides of the swap that you're trying to do. So you have a lot of options depending on what wallets you're familiar with and what chains you're actually going to be using. I can see what wallets work with what chains by either selecting a chain and seeing which wallets are still lit up or by selecting a wallet and seeing which chain lights up. So for this example, I'm going to connect XDeFi and all of the chains supported by XDeFi for the sake of the example so I, so I can show you a few cross-chain swaps. But key here is that we'll be connecting an Avalanche wallet and we'll probably do some Ethereum, maybe some native Bitcoin, maybe some ThorChain Rune. But the key thing to understand here is you can connect multiple wallets for whatever it is you actually need to accomplish. So let's connect our multi-chain XDeFi wallet. So under wallet, I can see all my native chain addresses for each chain that's connected and any balances that I have for any tokens. So first I have some native Ethereum here. So let's swap that over to some AVAX to get started. So I'll just have to select my from token and my to token. So let's select ETH and I want to receive AVAX. Let's do 0.2 ETH. And whenever you're doing a swap powered by ThorChain, you only need the from asset. So to do the swap, I do not need to already have any AVAX. I don't need any ThorChain rune, and I don't need any ThorSwap Thor. All I need is the from asset. The only situations where that would be slightly different is if I was sending, let's say, an Ethereum ERC-20 token like USDC. That's a send on the Ethereum blockchain, which would require ETH for gas. So that would require ETH. But in all normal cases, if you're swapping from AVAX, you're only going to need AVAX and so on. However, the total fee will depend on what blockchains you're actually using because you're, of course, doing real transactions on both sides. Just the fee is happening on the back end and you don't actually need it in your wallet. But if you're swapping from ETH to ETH, you are going to be exposed to Ethereum gas fees. And the same thing would apply to native Bitcoin for both fees and speed. They're going to rely on the chain you're actually using. You can click on this expanded view to understand exactly where the fees are all coming from, but that's all there is to get it started. Let's just do a swap and then we will have to sign this transaction in our Ethereum wallet in this case. Basically what we're doing here is we're confirming to send Ethereum in with a very specific message to ThorChain saying, hey, I want to receive my AVAX back at my AVAX wallet. So let's sign this transaction. And just like that, I've now got some native AVAX in my AVAX wallet. I accidentally refreshed so you didn't see the transaction pending, but I'll show you that on the next one. But it only took seconds and my ETH went in and then AVAX is here in my native Avalanche wallet. And again, just to reiterate, this is not any sort of wrapped interface where your assets are in the ThorSwap world and then you have to withdraw them out. No, this is real assets in your own self-custodied wallet as soon as it's done. So this AVAX is already in whatever Avalanche wallet you have connected. So now let's do a swap from that native AVAX. I'll just reverse these and let's swap to some native Binance chain BNB. So on this one, you'll notice the fee is less. That's because we're using Binance Chain, which is really cheap. We'll see that the route is using only ThorChain. In some cases, it will be using the ThorSwap aggregator. As of right now, that's aggregating all Ethereum ERC-20s. And extremely soon, maybe even close to the time that this first video is going up, it will also be aggregating all Avalanche tokens as well. Which means now or in the very immediate future, you'll be able to use ThorSwap to swap to and from all AVAX tokens, all ERC-20s, and all the native assets integrated in ThorChain in one interface. So let's swap this AVAX for BNB. Just confirm this, and now I'm signing to send my AVAX in. I'll confirm to sign that. And this is what I had skipped over, but you'll always see your pending swap here. You can track it by using this link, and you'll just see it pending until your assets are received. And there it is, confirmed AVAX to BNB, and that BNB is in our wallet. So let's do one more. Let's swap from BNB, and let's 
actually swap to some AVAX token USDC. This one's not even using the upcoming aggregator. This USDC is on ThorChain itself. So we have access to a really cheap and fast stable coin directly on ThorChain. And again, soon this will be a bunch of other Avalanche tokens aggregating liquidity from Avalanche DEXs that you'll be able to use right on ThorSwap. And we'll have another tutorial video after this one showing how to add liquidity to start earning yield on these pairs, as well as how to use that aggregator so you can do exponentially even more swaps. So let's swap one BNB to USDC. See all the breakdown again of the fees, the path, the confirmation of exactly how much I can expect to receive. And let's confirm and sign this swap. So now I'm signing from my BNB wallet. This example, I just used XDeFi for anything, but again, you, these could be different wallets. You could have Trust Wallet on one side, MetaMask on the other side. All just depends what wallets you're comfortable with and what chains you need to have connected. So that swap is pending here. One BNB expected 264 USDC on AVAX. You can track it here. And there it is. You can check in our wallet. I'll give that a quick refresh. And under Avalanche, we will see we have our AVAX USDC in our native Avalanche wallet. So that is how you do native cross-chain swaps using ThorSwap, powered by ThorChain. Swap to and from native AVAX, AVAX USDC with native Bitcoin, BNB, and so on. So many other assets, including all of those supported by the ThorSwap aggregator. All these swaps will be exactly the same process I just showed you. Just depends what wallet you have connected and where you're signing from, but everything is exactly the same. And that's how you can do thousands of different swap combinations using your own self-custodied wallets using ThorSwap.